Hello engineers, welcome to Engineer Brandon's Tools. Today, we are going to simulate a 3-bit binary counter on Proteus using a PIC16F84A microcontroller in assembly language. So, our code is going to be in assembly language. So, this is a code that I have already written. So, I'm going to explain this code step by step. So, here, this first three lines is our pseudocode. So, here, we have our pseudocode. Then, here, we have our constants for the loop, for our delay loop. So, we will go to our start. So, we have to define which which pins are going to be input and which are going to be output. So, we notice that while looking at our microcontroller, we don't have any input. We only have output at port B. So, we are going to just define all of port B as output. So, to do that, we do that in our status register. So, we move the literal B, which is in binary, zero, all that zero, and give them, that is, move literal to working register. You move all of this to the working register. Then move working register to F register, which is B. It means you move that content that was in the working register to our F register, which is trees B, and that makes all of port B as output. So that is all for our output. So we will now go out of our status register and we will now here we have our delay loop. So we have loop one decrement f and skip if zero cons one comma one so if you watch the previous video i made i have i explained this in a more brief detail so if you watch the previous video you understand more of this so we'll go to main so we have, we have move literal to working register that is you move this b zero 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 which is in binary, which represents decimal zero. That is, all of this represents decimal number zero. And you move that to the F register, which is port B. That is, you're moving all of this to port B, and you delay. So, it, you, mean, you mean here, no LED is going to shine here. So, no LED is going to shine here because you have moved all zeros to the port B here. So, you continue like this. So, we'll continue this way. We are going to move binary number 00000001, which is decimal number 1, to our port B which is going to make our first LED to blink, representing the decimal 1. And we are going to call the delay. So we'll just continue it that way. You notice that the next move later to working register, 00000010, which represents decimal number 2. And you move it to our F register, which is port B. So it's going to make our second LED to shine. So you proceed in this same way. Decimal number 4, 5, 6, 7, up to decimal number 9, which is in binary 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. And you call the delay. And after that, you go back to the main to start again the program back from the beginning. And here we have the end of our program. So the code will be copied and pasted on the link in the description below. You can just copy the code and understand it and run. So we are going to run this code on MPLAB. So we are going to, before that, we are going to save our code. counter so i'm just going to call it 
let me just call it ct save it in counter ct.asm so I'm, I've saved it so I'm going to start a new project on MPLAB project project wizard so I need a PIC16 F84 microcontroller project name I'm going to call it CT so I'll look for the directory where I'm going to save the project so I'm going to select my ASM file here is it CT So I'm going to select it and open it. So here is the code. So I'm going to build up this code and generate the hex file. To do that, I'll go to project, build all. So our code has been built successfully, hex file generated. So let us go to our schematic. So you can pause the video also and draw the schematic on Proteus. So to load my hex file to my PIC16, I'm going to double click program file. So here is a hex file ct.hex. Then I'm going to click OK and I'm going to run the simulation. So here is it. Here is our binary counter. So it's going to restart 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. So it's just going to go in like that and restarting over and over again. So that is a binary counter using the PIC16 F84. So here we have a reset button. In the previous video, I explained that this button helps to reset the code inside the microcontroller. So we notice that here we have counted up to 7. So let me reset. So it starts back at 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Five. So if I reset at this moment, it's going to start back. Also, I can link this project to a seven-segment display for it to display the digits 0 to 9 directly on the seven-segment display using a 4511 BCD to seven-segment decoder. So I'm going to call 4511. So I have my 4511. Then I'm going to look for a seven segment display. Common cathode. So I'm going to take the green. So I in this case I will not need any of the LEDs anymore. So I'm going to connect my 4511 so in the connection of the 4511 these two are connected to a power supply so i'll have power Then this one is grounded. So I'll need a 1 kilo ohm resistor for this. So resistance 1 kilo ohm. Then I'll bring my 7 segment display.
so here is our common cathode so i'm going to run so in this case the bcd to seven segment display it takes in those four inputs and converts them and sends out seven different outputs which go to our seven segment display and which displays the digits 0 to 9 directly on the seven segment display so let us run and see let us run and see so that is it so it counts directly from the digit 0 to 9 and display directly on the seven segment display so thank you for watching my video please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and please comment more and more on my videos please if you are interested in any of this please comment on it then if you have any idea that is if you want to give an idea of anything that you want that i should make you can just send in the comments and i will do it so thank you thank you very much